Hello, people of the internet. Simon here again with another e-com secret. This time it's a Shopify secret, and it's how to tweak your Shopify checkout and increase mobile conversions. Okay, so this is a little tweak that I, I can't take credit for. Um, I can't remember where I found this on the internet, but I found it some time ago, and it's something I use on my own stores, and it's something I also implement with uh, other people's stores when I do coaching calls. Um, it's a little JavaScript tweak that will change the behavior of the checkout in mobile devices. Now, why you would want to do that, let me go through step by step and, and explain to you why you'd probably want to do this. But for me personally, I think it really does help uh, with conversions and the data shows that. Now, it's probably because my products that I sell on my e-commerce store are more to the older generation and the older generation are a little bit uh, a little bit technophobe, but they're, they're not great on uh, computers, they're not great on mobile devices, and if everything isn't as clearly laid out and, and shown on the screen straight away, they're not that intuitive to start clicking around and, and looking for things. So. Let's just dig in and I'll show you exactly what I mean by this uh, by this little tweak. Okay, so we'll just go to this dummy site. Um, we'll go to a product, these mega expensive cool kicks. Add to cart, fantastic. Let's go to checkout. And on desktop, the issue isn't there. And what the issue is, is this discount box. And also actually seeing your product. Now on desktop, you see everything on the page. Great, fine. I know where to put my discount code. I know what product I've got in my car. Great. But on mobile, it doesn't really work like that. Now, I'm not going to switch to mobile, but what I will do is go into uh, Chrome Developer Tools and, oops, it's already there. Switch to mobile view. So um, to do this from the menus, I think you're going to have to go view, developer, developer tools to bring this up. I have got a shortcut key of F12 assigned. So all that does is bring up uh, the HTML developer tool, CSS, that kind of stuff. Um, but you have a toggle device toolbar here. So I'm just going to toggle that into, uh, let's say, iPhone 6. Okay, so this is viewing the site as if it's on mobile. All right, we'll go back to the same thing. Go cart, go check out. The thing that you'll notice that the show order summary there, link, isn't expanded. So on first initial view, Without clicking that show order summary, I can't see the the discount code section, and I can't see the product that's actually in my in my cart in my uh, checkout. So you've got to click that, and then it opens up, right? So you can apply the discount. You can see the full checkout. You can see the shipping. I don't really like that. A lot of people don't like that. Don't know that that's there too, especially from my audience. So what I can do here is I can add a little bit of tweak. Uh, to make that open up by default. Now, there is no real way, unless you're on Shopify Plus plan, to edit the templates within the cart checkout. So what this is is a little bit of a hack. Uh, and what I mean by that is that we're going to use the, the section that's used for Google Analytics to add in an extra bit of code so it appears on the checkout. So let me show you what I mean. So in the Shopify backend, what we'll do is we'll go online store and then preferences. And within preferences, we'll look at the Google Analytics section here, right? So we've got Google Analytics here and there's a little extra section about add custom JavaScript. We'll click that and enable that. And what that will allow us to do is to add in any Google Analytics JavaScript and Google Analytics appears everywhere throughout the site, right? throughout your site, throughout your cart, and also at checkout. So what you can do is, is utilize this and kind of hack it to add in some JavaScript, inject some JavaScript. Now do be careful here. This could break your checkout, but the code I'm using will not. I've been using it for a while. It works just fine, right? But if you're gonna start and hack into this with other JavaScript, then you know do so at your own risk. Okay, so the code that we're gonna implement it's just this here. There's no script tags around it. What I mean by no script tags is there's not this start and end script. So it's just a basic little bit of text that we're just going to copy and paste into there. I'll drop this into the video description so you can easily just copy and paste it. 
So I'll take that, copy that, drop that into the Google Analytics additional analytics JavaScript. Hit save. Okay, what we'll do is we'll drop back to the main page so you can see this in action. We'll go to cart, we'll go to checkout, and this time, ah, that order summary now automatically opens. That little bit of JavaScript that we've hacked into the Google Analytics uh, JavaScript section will run because JavaScript, because Google Analytics sorry, is firing at our checkout. And now this summary is open. So you can see straight away where to add the discount, what products are in, look at your shipping. Much better, in my opinion. And that's it. That's how to customize your Shopify checkout for mobile to increase conversions. For now, that's it. But I'll see you in another e-com secret here on my channel. Please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. And check out some of my other videos here in my channel. But for now, that's all I got. I'll see you in the next video.